Okay, we just got in an Elite Pulse, 2011 Elite Pulse. Uh, ordered this in black riser, snow camo limbs. It's a 29 inch draw, 70 pound bow. Uh, the draw is great. Um, a good improvement upon last year. Not that last year was bad, but they definitely modified that, changed the draw cycle even a little bit better. Uh, very smooth draw, peaks up front. A little bit early, I think, in the draw cycle, but that transition all the way back through the valley into that wall, uh, very smooth transition. Uh, no hump at all. Um, very smooth, very smooth speed bow. Uh, upon the shot, uh, a little slight vibe in, in the hand. Um, and I think, uh, I mean, that was actually taken care of with an 8 inch uh, Stoker Ice Stabilizer. Um, as far as uh, everything else, so I mean the vibe was very slight and it was nothing out of the ordinary or anything. Um, but if you, if you want to really pay attention to it and just pay attention solely to the grip and solely to the shot of the bow at the grip point, um, you will feel a slight vibe uh, more than likely. Uh, your normal stabilizer, 8, uh, eight inch stoker eyes, been a great stabilizer for me here at the shop. Um, it took everything away. Um, it's dead in the hand now completely. Uh, very smooth. I like the draw cycle. Nice let off. Easy to handle even at 70 pounds. Uh, very comfortable. Very comfortable draw. It doesn't feel actually like it's peaking at 72 pounds. Um, I actually have it set at 70 right now. Shooting a 372 grain arrow. Uh, getting chrono speeds at 319, 320. Uh, good speeds uh, with a 372 grain arrow at 70 pounds at a 29 inch draw. That is uh, that is uh, on the low side of their IBO spec, uh, so it is it is meeting the spec require or the spec on the IBO specs of I believe 339 to 342 on those specs. Uh, I could be wrong. Could give or take a couple of feet per second. Um, but a very smooth bow, uh, definitely uh, worth taking a look at, uh, a bow worth shooting this year to put on your list of one of those to try out. You know, uh, you know it might not be for everybody, but honestly there, it's, it's hard pressed trying to find something wrong with this bow. Very smooth. As you can see, I mean, at full draw, it's a 70 pound bow, very comfortable. I mean, the let off, you can let down very easy. It's not like it's going to take your arm off by no means. 70 pounds though, nice, nice draw, good even in a ground blind tree stand situation. Um, very comfortable. I do like the new strings as well. The new strings were a great addition. I like the colors. Uh, the colors they chose with the snow cam on the black riser look really good. The flat shelf also a big improvement. Um, wasn't a fan of the curved shelves. Um, and the flat shelf, great for a drop away rest. I threw a whisker biscuit on here uh, just for time's sake and just to show a few shots through it so I can get a little review going for you, for everybody. I mean, you can hold this thing all day long. The let off is great. The hold is solid. Um, I mean, it's 70 pounds. It's amazing that this is for a speed bow. Um, home run for sure. I, I definitely like the draw cycle. Uh, the cams are a little bit larger um, than last year's uh, cams. Uh, they do make that little bit of sweep, uh, sort of a larger sweep transition, and I think that helped, you know, smoothen that draw cycle cycle out. Um, it, it's very smooth. Definitely have to shoot it. I 
I did notice if anybody gets a bow in, um, the two that I received, I received a Pure and a Pulse. Uh, the, the Pure already sold, I didn't have time to do any reviews on that. Um, but uh, on both bows that I got in, uh, just a note, check your draw stops and your string stop for because uh, both of the bows that came in were actually loose. But if you get a chance, try one of these out, 2011 Elite uh, Pulse, a uh, great speed bow with uh, some great features and a very smooth draw. Thanks.